Hello Taurus, welcome to your July 2020 bonus reading. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please do understand that this is still a general message, so all the messages coming through will not resonate with you. Please check your own Moon, Rising, Venus signs for additional messages, and as always, please do not make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading because not all the information or energies will be available to you. So if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, you can find that information in the detail box down below. This video along with my social media and how to connect with me on my Facebook group. All right, Taurus. I'm going to finish shuffling your cards up with here real quick and then we're gonna lay out the Celtic cross. See what is happening. Before that, I'm gonna draw one oracle card from the Oracles of the Fairies. All right, here we go. Hello, Spirit Team, what do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, for July 2020? What messages do you have for my Taurus family? Please make it clear, make it precise, make it the best message that Taurus needs to hear at this time. If you guys are hearing any noise in the background, I do apologize. They are doing some work on my building outside. Um, it's in the distance, a little bit in the distance, so I'm hoping that it's not coming through too much on the mic. All right, so from the Oracles of the Fairy, we have new beginnings. This god, fairy godmother, heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I know there's a little bit of a glare. There we go. Beautiful card, beautiful message. So you have something new that's beginning for you, Taurus. I'm loving it. All right, so in the heart of the spread, we have this card of Leo. We have strength. So this is being in control of your thoughts, of your emotions, of your environment, right? Both internally and externally. It's the it's the wisdom and the the bravery, the courageous energy of knowing exactly when is the right time to exert your strength or show your strength and when to refrain. I love this. So something either you or the person you're connecting with is trying to be more brave and courageous right now, very strong. What is crossing it is the page of pentacles, the page of coins in this deck. Love this deck. This is a Game of Thrones deck in case anyone is wondering here. But um, what I'm seeing here is, you know, Taurus, you may be wanting to extend an offer. Um, it's not going to be a very big one. This is small and tangible, but it, it you know, it is grounded. It is, it is a grounded energy here. Either you or your person trying to be brave and courageous and doing this. In the distant past, we have the High Priestess. Um, this is definitely speaks to Cancer Pisces energy for me as a reader. But this is like secrets, things that are hidden, not yet known or revealed in a situation, or a very highly intuitive, wise person here with the High Priestess. Okay, so in the recent past, we have the Tower. So something came in here, um, either for you or the person that you're dealing with. But, you know, the Tower comes in and it shakes things loose. Um, any lies, any manipulations, half-truths, long-held beliefs. It changes those things. It shakes, it shakes away what's not grounded or solid. Um, it also is a, it's a card of destruction. It, it it takes things away that was never meant for us in the first place. This is also epiphanies, realizations coming in very quickly. So at the crowning of this spread, you have the six of swords. So this is what you're kind of hoping for in the situation. And I'm, what I'm getting from this card is you're wanting to kind of move away from the turbulence. And after the tower, I can understand why, if this is you or your person. This is kind of wanting to move away from turbulent times of trouble, of uncertainty, um, away from the challenges. Move to calmer, smoother waters where things are more aligned, more meant for us. Future energy coming in, we have the 10 of coins. So this is you know universal abundance and blessings coming in here. This can deal with legacies. Um, family, family connections, beautiful. So how you are seeing yourself or being seen at this time is the Four of Cups. So this is a bit of 
of sadness, a bit of unhappiness, discontentment. Um, I feel like you're really not interested in too many things that are happening for you, around you right now, Taurus. You're really focused on one thing. So you're, you're hyper-focused is what I'm getting with that card. All right, outside influences, we've got the Ten of Wands coming in. So somebody's feeling the kind of the stress and the burden. Um, they're wanting to lay a burden down. We'll get more clarifications on that in just a moment. So in your hopes and your fears, we have the Three of Pentacles, or Three of Cups, excuse me. So this could be reconciliation, good news, reasons to celebrate, happy times, right? Or in your fears, this could also indicate that you're fearful. And for some of you, and I'm getting this, this message, if some of you are fearful of a third party connection, um, does not necessarily mean for all of you this indicates a third person as in romantic partner. This can indicate, you know, somebody interfering, a third party work, friends, family, addiction, um, you know, hobbies, interfering with your connection. All right, future energy, possible outcome. We have the Eight of Swords. This could indicate being kind of stuck in that mental body. Unable or unwilling to see our way out could be you or your person that you're dealing with or thinking of at this time. Overall energy here is the Ace of Spears. Yes, a brand new, passionate beginning, a spark, you know, that the potential to light a new flame of creativity and passion. I love it. And the hidden energy here, what is not being seen at this time is the King of Coin. So this has to do with your stability, with life partnership, building a solid future. Um, there may be somebody that needs to say something here, as the king of coin can get a bit um, get a bit of tunnel vision where he's not really communicating how they feel. Uh, this could also have a significant earth sign coming in, or you know not yet felt. Um, a, a Capricorn, a Taurus, another Virgo. For you guys the bottom of the deck we do have the devil here Capricorn energy so some of you may have some interactions going to be going on with a Capricorn all right let's go ahead and clarify the cards on the table see what else we can find out and stuff out for you Taurus <clears throat> All right, Spirit Team, please clarify the cards on the table for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, starting with Strength and the Page of Coins at the heart of the matter. What is going on with that? Can I get a more? All right, the Moon in the bottom of the deck. So this is telling me that there's a lot of fear here. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so for some of my Taurus, I'm getting a message here. So this offer is coming in, right? Um, I feel like that you could be working a lot or they could be working a lot or they're working on this offer to bring to you right now. Um, I do see the energy of feeling stuck in our heads here. Again, there's, you know, we're beginning and ending this rub of the same card. This tells me really stuck in that mental body because... You're where you're either you're worried or that this is an offer coming into you. You are worried about this person being deceptive. I feel like they were deceptive in the past, which is kind of why you're wondering whether or not they're being truthful for you now. There's something here that you can't see, whether or not to, whether you should or shouldn't. You know, there's a lot of fears about reconciling with this person. I really do feel that because you, know, you feel like they've kept secrets from you, um, have manipulated you in the past here. I'm really looking, you're, you are stuck in your head about their intention. It could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, but you are definitely stuck in your head about their attention towards you. All right, so let's look at this past information here with the High Priestess. What is this? Priestess for the distant past. For my Taurus, please. What else can you tell me? Okay. King of Pentacles could, again, be a Capricorn. Or this could be you um, with this person. Okay, so there is the Nine of Cups here, which tells me this was a bit of wish fulfillment. There's something that was unknown, unseen. Um, 
I see the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be in a marriage or a, or a family situation for some of you, a work situation where things were not seen. There was a lot of, lot of opportunities, a lot of wish fulfillment possibilities here on the table. I do feel like you were feeling pretty good. I am getting the Knight of Wands. Could be a fire sign. A can't, uh, Cancer, yeah. A Sagittarius and Aries, a Leo. Um, I do feel like the things were happening very quickly here. Again, look. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo there with that Queen of Wands. This person was very attractive, very alluring for you. But there was something hidden. There was a hidden nature here. And things were... Uh, I'm not going to ignore this card. Like, I've always tried Sagittarian energy with this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands moves very quickly. He's a smooth talker. He likes to flirt or flirt. He likes to, um, he likes to come in and out of your, of, of people's lives here. So I feel like if this was a romantic situation, there was a potential, or this felt like to you, like this was a wish come true. This was going to be, maybe even lead to a family situation for some of you. But this person was a bit of a playboy or girl energy, and there was a lot of hidden things that were not known or a scene at this time about this person. All right, what is this tower recent past, please? Okay, we're getting the two of wands, the ace of pentacles, the magician, and the ace of swords, the ten of wands underneath that, and the two of cups. Okay, so what I'm getting from this very loud, very clear, is this hidden nature was exposed with this tower. And it's left you, you had to make a decision, right? Two paths are laid out before you. You could walk away from this or you could stay. There was an opportunity, a new opportunity on the table that either you manifested or they did. But here's the truth. I feel like for some, some ways, for some of my Taurus, you manifested in this tower. You wanted the truth. You wanted to see what was being hidden and you manifested it in. And then a new opportunity because of it um, rose up for you. A new opportunity rose from the ashes, shall we say. And there was this, you know, okay, so you're now at this crossroads, right? Before you take that first step. You're looking at your options. You're evaluating which path would be best for you to take. And either you need to get clarity on it or you see the truth in it. But you're very stressed out when it comes to this partnership. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six of Swords, please. Crowning the spread. What is the Six of Swords? Please show me clearly and precisely. Thank you. What else can you tell me? Thank you. I'll take them both. All right. Yeah. Wow, you guys, like these readings are, are so similar today. You're at a crossroads. You want to get into that boat and you want to move away. You want to move to calmer water. But right now you are definitely in the hangman position. You are caught between taking a leap of faith and going in that new direction towards that new beginning, that new opportunity. Could be with a Scorpio, but for others of you, I feel like you're between letting this old cycle here with this person and, and taking a leap of faith in a new direction. For some of you, I feel like you're going to get in that boat. You're going to leave behind what's no longer meant for you because you're seeing things in a new perspective and you're taking that leap of faith. You're taking that new, that new beginning, that new opportunity. Um, but some of you are definitely at the crossroads of what, what do I do? Which way do I go? What is the Ten of Pentacles? Future energy coming in here. Please clarify. It's Ten of Coins. Aries energy with the Emperor. What else can you tell me? <laughs> okay, that one jumped. High Priestess. Whew. All right, for some of you, Ten of Cups. Okay, so future energy coming in. Some of you, this is a family member. This is a... A very dynamic could be a father situation where there's a lot of regrets of the past. This could be the father of your children, or you could have, to have children together. Or this could be an Aries or somebody of power and position, um, dominance almost. Um, this is going to be a leader, a police officer, you know, somebody of, of power and authority here coming in. Also get builder, a construction worker, um, architect. I'm hearing architect. Okay, so the architect of the family. Exactly what I've just heard. So the architect of a family, the architect, the father, a fatherly figure, somebody in control, 
a position of power where there is a lot of regret, a lot of sadness, a lot of loss around the situation. Um, the high priestess is here because things are still not known or seen about the situation. Um, now, Taurus, this very well could be your energy here. You could be feeling the loss. Like, you know, what was what was revealed, you know, for some of you, again, what was revealed really puts you at a loss and a sadness. But somebody's coming in to help you rebuild your solid foundation for some of you. What's going to lead you to that happiness? And I do see passionate communication coming in here and happiness behind that. But we ha you have to let go of the discontentment of what is in that in order to move forward and release that feelings of, of loss and be strong. Okay, so what is this Four of Cups energy of how my Tauruses are being seen or how they see themselves at this time? What is this Four of Cups? Ten of Cups. Okay, so I definitely get in the sense you, my Taurus, my Taurus are very emotional at this time. Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, yeah. You are feeling really discontent, disunsatisfied, unhappiness. You're really kind of focusing on what's going to make you happy. I do see that you still have a lot of passion and I find this person a very attractive, Taurus, very attractive. I do see for a lot of you, this. you see this person as your life partner you might want to communicate with them or they could be trying to communicate with you or you want to move things forward but there is the king of swords here uh libra gemini aquarius energy needing to speak the truth have wisdom make head over heart decisions use that uh, intellectual body rather than the heart to make your next best move all right what is this from the spheres outside influences please for my taurus there's my taurus all right, so Taurus, somebody's stressing out about you. Somebody is stressing out about you. What else can you tell me here about the Ten of Spears and the outside influences here? Sagittarian energy with that temperance and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing is Taurus, they see you. They see you bringing yourself into balance, seeing you temper those energies. That strength card's really coming into play, right? They see you coming into balance. So you're connecting that you're, you know, you nine of pentacles, single, ready to mingle, doing good for yourself, solid, abundant. Have you're setting your attentions and they're flowing to you. Like everything is you know, the, the nine of pentacles has everything that they need. The only thing they have not, well, the only thing that they lack is a love life. So what I'm seeing is they're seeing you as this person of power, of abundance, of happiness, actually. That you're starting to temper those sadness and, and, and unhappy energies as you're bringing yourself into balance. And it's stressing them out. And it's making them want to move very quickly towards you with an offer here. Offer an apology, but I see it coming. Yeah, there's conflict. This person knows that they messed up and they're wanting to kind of balance this out now. All right, what is this Three of Cups and Hopes and Fears, please? Clarify the Three of Cups. There it is. There it is. Knight of Swords. Air energy moving in very quickly, almost impulsively. What else can you tell me? Yeah. This is them. They're wanting to reconcile with you. They're wanting to make an offer. Um, for some of you, this is going to come in very, very quickly because they're stressed out. They they know they want this partnership with you or they want to, they want to reconcile and come into union with you. If you're in separation... This person is coming in very quickly or wants to come in very quickly. This is in their hopes. This is what they want to do. Doesn't mean this is what they're going to do, but this is what they want to do. They're feeling very uh, wounded here. Uh, or you. I feel like this could very well be you. Could be a fire sign you're connected with. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They're liking to show up in this reading a good bit. Um, definitely a lot of passion. A lot of, a lot of passion and energy here. Um, this could be you. You could be a little bit standoffish if they come towards you. Eight of Swords. Future energy. Possible outcome coming in. What is this? Eight of Swords, please. Show me clearly and precisely. Oh, okay. What else can you tell me? Thank you. Yep. Okay, so where you've been stuck in your head, that's coming to an end. You're overcoming this challenge. Um, I see you as the Empress here, Taurus. This is your card, you and Aries, um, for me as a reader. 
some of you that may be a mother, um, or this person could be the mother of your children, but what I see is you're getting unstuck, where you've been stuck in your head about this situation, um, about whether this, you know, this person bringing in this offer to you, and I do see it happening over here, like they, they're coming at you, or, what, or they, they may have already done so, and where you're at is kind of needing to make this decision, and this is you kind of like reevaluating what all has happened. Um, you're going to overcome this obstacle. This, you know, I see, I feel like there's a lot of nostalgia here of the past. I a lot of love, a lot of, of deep feelings really connected. It's almost soulmate energy for some of you really feeling a strong connection to this person in the past, but I see you getting unstuck. I see you overcoming this challenge, allowing the situation to complete so that there's no more juggling. I, I don't feel like it will. Yeah. And there's a the star. Wishes being granted to you from the universe, bringing yourself into balance, deep healing, and moving forward, moving very forward very quickly, and I love it, and having the wisdom and the knowledge with it. Towards a new beginning, there is a new beginning, new opportunities open to you here, Taurus. So, yeah, and which you're going to be victorious right there. They're telling you, you're going to have victory in this situation. You just need to make a decision to allow what needs to end to end. So you can move towards a solid foundation and a passionate new beginning. I love it when they wrap it up that way. All right, Taurus, that is what I have for your bonus reading. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like button so that this video can circulate for everybody out there so it does not get lost in the shuffle. And last but not least, please do consider subscribing because the best way for your energy to show up here is to be a subscriber because that is how I set my attentions before each and every reading. That is all. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.